how do I get into a volleyball team? And how do I impress the coaches at my trials? Now, there are simple answers to that and there are more complex answers. Let's go through the simple answers. If you're a junior, I'm talking under 15s, 14s, 13s. The most important thing is can you get your serve in? You don't even need to worry about how aggressive that serve is. Can you get the serve in? At that age group, if you can get your serve in, you'll be impressing the coaches because any serve that goes in is an aggressive serve at that level. So step one for juniors, learn how to serve. The faster you get from doing an underarm to an overarm, the more valuable you will be for your coach and for your team. Then if you start getting into jump serves, you're looking pretty deadly to me. The second simple answer is how much do you move on court? Especially with juniors under 15s, 14s, 13s, 12s, it's really easy to tell the good players from the not so good. All I have to do is look at what they're doing when they don't have the ball in their hands. Are they moving? Are they tracking the ball? Are they shuffling forward or back? It all makes a difference. Everybody thinks, oh, the coaches only look for people that spike the ball hard. No way, that's the last thing I check. First thing is, can you move on court? It's really, really important. And a fundamental skill that is completely underrated. If you're moving on court and you're shuffling and you can get to the ball, I want you on the team. Now, let's get into the more complex answers. Here's my whiteboard. As we talked about before, lower levels, serving and movement. That's the most important part. If you get your serve and you're moving well on the court and reading well, you're on my team straight away. That gets a little bit different when we're going into higher levels of volleyball. Think rep volleyball, think opens volleyball. It becomes a different ball game. When I'm trialing teams that are of a higher level, obviously I expect more. I need you to be volleyballers first. So that's all of this. You need to be able to pass. You need to be able to set. You need to be able to spy. You need to be able to serve. You need those things. Those are prerequisites to trial. Come to a trial and you don't know how to serve yet at this level, <sighs> you better have a pretty good pass. The first thing is, I want you to be a volleyballer. I want you to be able to play the game. Simple, right? The next thing is, do you have a specialty? So the way I look at it is, I want everyone to be a volleyballer, but I also want someone to be great or specialized in something. That may be in spiking. You might be an absolutely gun of a spiking. You might have a massive toolkit where you can wipe the block, you can tip, you can line, you can cross. You've got a massive toolkit. That's awesome. That's what I'm looking for in my spikers. If you want to be a libero, don't just expect to get on a team because you've got a pretty solid pass. Please expect that you need to be a volleyballer first. You need to be able to serve. You need to be a utility player first. Utility players, are the best. Once you get to that level, then specialize in something, become great at something. Get the benchmark in volleyball, become great at something. That could be serving. I think that's my specialty. I'm really good at serves. I've sharpened my tools in that area. At this level, everyone can play volleyball, but not very many people have a topspin serve, a float serve, a hybrid serve, a tip serve. That's my specialty. That's where I decided to put all my skill points into. You've got to decide where you're gonna specialize. But please remember, don't specialize unless you're already a volleyballer. If you can't dig, set, and spike effectively, there's no point becoming a specialty player because no one's gonna want you. In my opinion, unless you're an absolute freaking gun, no one's gonna want you. They're gonna expect you to be able to play. You get better when you practice. So if you're in the lower levels, you need to start practicing your serve and you need to start practicing your movement and your reading skills around the court. If you're of a higher level, you need to nail being a volleyballer and then you need to start specializing. Start thinking now, if you're already at this level, what can differentiate you from the other players? Because everybody can hit hard. Everybody can jump serve at this level. So you need to get better than that. How are you going to do that? Hit me up in the comments. If you want to get some of this Club Arty merch, link in the bio. Good Arty, out of here. Thank you for watching this video today. If this video helped you in any way, I'm so grateful. Please consider subscribing. If you'd like to support me in any other ways, I have a Patreon. You can sign up and just for $2, you will be featured in this credit scene. Remember, you get better what you practice and I'll see you on the court.